Hi and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Caroline. I specialise in yoga for women's health, more specifically perimenopause and beyond. So today's class is a short yin yoga practice to help release some of the tension and pressure in the pelvic floor, so really relaxing those muscles. If you have a bolster, go ahead and grab that. If not, some cushions or pillows will do just fine, or even some yoga blocks like these. So go ahead and grab your props and I shall meet you back on the mat. So the first pose we're going to come to is a malasana, so that's a yogi squat. So sitting up onto something and then we just take the legs wide. And you can bring your elbows to the inside of the legs, bring the palms together and gently use the elbows to press the legs out. just taking a few moments to get settled into a comfortable position. So with it being a yin posture, you want to feel some sensation, but not too much. So on a scale of one to 10, you want around four or five in sensation. And then you might like to close down your eyes. Completely optional. And just focusing on your breath. See if you can take some deep belly breaths. So breathing in through the nose, expand the rib cage, expand the belly, and exhale, release the air. Inhale, the diaphragm drops down, the lungs fill, the belly fills, and exhale, everything lifts back up. Inhale, bring your wellness to your pelvic floor muscles. The pelvic floor muscles will mirror the diaphragm. So as you inhale, drop and relax. And exhale, gently lift. And just keep breathing in this way. Just be here for a couple of minutes. Really see if you can connect to your pelvic floor. Just notice any sensations. See if you can really get a sense of that relaxation on the inhale and that gentle contraction on the exhale. Just around another minute here. And just gently releasing the pose, just bringing the legs back in towards each other. Just pausing for a few moments, just notice any sensations. And then we'll move on to the ground. So we're coming into a supported bridge pose. The way I like to do it 
is bring in my bolster or blocks horizontally on the mat and then sit my pelvis onto them and then gently lower the rest of my body down to the ground. So the pelvis is supported, the head and the shoulders are on the ground. Knees are bent, soles of the feet on the ground. So if for any reason this isn't going to work for you, maybe you're menstruating and don't particularly want to be practicing inversions, you could turn your bolster lengthways and then set down the pelvis, support the upper back and then just come into a position where the head and shoulders are on the ground and that won't disrupt any kind of flow whatsoever for you. So once you're settled in your supported bridge relax your upper body maybe closing the eyes bringing your awareness back to that belly breathing if you feel any discomfort in the lower back it might feel better for you to take your feet out a little bit wider and allow the knees to drop together just helps to create a bit of space in the lower back if it's a bit niggly or pinching in any way. You're really allowing your belly to be soft. Relax that area. We'll just take another minute here. Maybe if it feels okay for you, you might extend the legs out long now. Just getting a little bit of a stretch into those hip flexors, releasing tension there. Otherwise, stay exactly where you are. And wherever you are just bringing the knees in towards the chest just wrapping the hands around the shins just pause in here for a few moments and placing the feet back down on the ground just gently lift the hips so you can move for your support the next pose we're coming into is reclined bound angle or butterfly you might know it as so bringing the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to drop out to the sides I'll show you a version I really like to do I'm going to use my bolster and prop my feet up onto there bring the soles of the feet together as you normally would and allow the knees to drop out and what I find is the bolster really supports my legs. I still get that nice openness and stretch into the inner thighs. It just feels like a lot less pressure on my knees. So if you have quite delicate knees too, then this may work well for you. And then once you're set up, once again, just maybe close down the eyes if it feels safe for you to do so. And bringing your awareness back to the breath. 
be here for around two minutes. around another minute here If you had your legs up on any props, just use your feet to push those away. Come into lie flat on your back now. Take the legs out long. Just noticing any sensations in the body. Bending into the knees, just gently roll to one side, pause in there for a moment. And then using your arms to press back up to take a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If yin is your thing, then I'd love for you to go and check out my other yin videos in the playlist just here. And I shall see you very soon.